We've heard a lot about 3D printing and all the cool gadgets the new technology can make from shoes and clothes, guns, even art. But what about bones, tissues, and organs even? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says that's actually happening as we speak. You're looking at what basically started out as a high-tech version of the inkjet printer you probably have at home, only about a thousand times more sophisticated. You see, this 3D printer is actually making a living tissue, in this case a jawbone made out of live cells, and that's just the beginning. We printed soft tissues such as muscle, medium uh, strength tissues such as cartilage, and we printed uh, hard structures such as bone for both the jaw and the skull. But to accomplish these feats, Dr. Anthony Atala and colleagues at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine realized that it wasn't enough to just squirt cells out through the tiny nozzle of a printer that made for a squishy blob of cells that couldn't be surgically implanted. More importantly, those cells had to be fed with enough nutrients to keep them alive. To print these very, very thin microchannels, so we basically are building a highway, if you will, into the central portion of these tissues so that they can be fed. So the printer actually shoots out a gel called bio-ink, a mixture of cells and nutrient solution that along with those microchannels keeps the cells alive until the body's own blood vessels and capillaries grow into the new tissue. The bio-ink also solidifies along with the cells as it's printed so it's firm enough to be handled and implanted, something that's already being done in animals. We planted these tissues in small mice and rats and what we're doing right now is actually doing the long-term studies that are needed Needed so we can take these technologies to patients. Now, the simplest structures to print out are flat tissues like skin, then tubular and hollow organs like blood vessels and bladders, and finally, the most complex are solid organs like livers, hearts, and kidneys. Those are still a ways off, but some of these made to order body parts are already a reality. You've seen some bone implanted in animals, you've seen those small ears actually implanted mm -hmm. on the back to prove that they can actually survive. And I actually interviewed a young man who had one of those bladders implanted in wow. his body. That's beyond incredible. It's like sci-fi. Yeah. I'm like, who right? is? What are we watching, right? <laughs> <laughs> Off-the-shelf body yes. parts. Off Thank you, Dr. Max. Really interesting. All right.